I'm Kaylin. Um, today is Thursday. It's my day, so I'm going to show you how to combine all this to make your face look ripped. Basically, I'm going to show you how to create an open wound on your face. First of all, we need to. Okay, first thing we need to do is get all the things that we need. You're gonna need liquid latex, liquid latex, a plate to put your liquid latex on, um, some fake blood because why not? Some tissue and some paint and some sponges. Mirror right in front of me, so if you see me looking, it's a mirror. So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pour your liquid latex into your plate. You're gonna wanna pour your liquid latex onto the plate, maybe about I don't know. I use different amounts each time. Oh, oh god, maybe about that much. That much? Question mark. Okay. And then take one piece of tissue. You're going to take one piece of tissue and you're going to tear it in half and then you're going to want to tear it into like, you're going to take a strip about like that, you're going to be tearing it off anyway. So, so you're going to take your little sponge and you're going to take it basically and whichever side of the face you want to go to, I'm going to go here. You're gonna take, you're gonna dip your sponge, oh god, ew, in your liquid latex. And you're gonna saturate the area that you want to wound up. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want, so it's gonna look something like this. You probably just can't see it because the light in here is horrible. So you're gonna do this, and you're gonna put the tissue, you're gonna put the tissue on top of it. Stressful process. Whatever you do with your excess tissue is up to you. I choose to put it to the side and not touch it. So I'm just tearing off the excess right now. So you're gonna do this about three or four times, like three or four layers of tissue, so you can build up an area so you can cut into it later after you get finished. Things. Okay. So do it again. Oh. I have it from skin tone to something. Is I have my Wet n Wild color co color con something it's this and it's a bronzer and then I have my other bronzer it's the sun and then I have my covergirl 520 creamy natural makeup and then I have my loose powder so I can sit the brush I'm gonna be using to apply the foundation I'm using this blush brush oh it needs to be cleaned Can you dry it no not quite so I'm going to be using those cosmetics and the eyeshadows I'm going to use is, um, is, no, is a black to make it look gross and then a purple to make it look bruised. Ew! Oh, I scratched it. Oh, ew. Ew, okay. Ew. What? Ew! And I'm going to be using this pinkish color to make it look bloody. To give it like a blood reflection. And where's my Oh, I'm gonna be using this brown to give it more like a deadish look. And then this green right here. Just you know, green it up a little. Another thing that you need that I missed earlier is a pair of scissors or sharp tweezers to cut into the latex. I'm gonna take my liquid foundation and 
mustard in my brush. Try to get this out. <laughs> Question mark on how I'm gonna do this. So basically the only thing you're doing right now is to make it blend into your skin tone so there's no white. So I'm going to take my CoverGirl True Blend Minerals. I don't know what you use this for, but I use it for setting powder, so I'm going to use it for setting powder. I'm going to set it. Foundation and powdered. It should look something like this. Not perfect, but we're getting there. I'm going to bronze, which probably won't make a difference, but I will. So my bronzing brush, I just use this, which is probably another blush brush. I'm like an artist ready to paint. So right before we cut into it, I'm going to bruise it a little around the edges. So I'm going to take a purple, and I'm going to be using, I don't know, this size brush, this size of a brush, and I'm going to do it with some black and purple. So I'm going to go around it with some purple first. So I'm just getting there, bloop bloop. And you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna take your black, oh god. Using the same brush because, why not? And you're gonna lightly, scratch, you're gonna lightly dab it around. Just to give it a dark look. Later we're gonna take the purple one and gonna fan it out to make it look bruised and irritated. Maybe. Roughly, that's what you want. We're doing it in a rough shape here. Okay, now, fingers crossed, I don't mess this up. Very carefully, because you can cut your skin if you go too deep, please be careful when cutting into your liquid latex. Please, because I don't want to be responsible for any injuries happening while people try to do this. So I'm going to carefully cut in the middle of it and split it. If you want, you can cut off the edges to make it look a little more open, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take it, I'm just going to trim the skin off, the skin. And so, if you want, you can take your fingers and you can split it and you can bring it up a little, just to open it more. Like so. Okay, now. You're gonna wanna. You're gonna wanna take your pinkish color, take the same brush you used to do the black and purple with, and you're gonna take it and you're gonna go on the edges of the right here. You're gonna go right here and you're gonna put the pink or red on it. I don't have a red, so I'm just using pink. So you're gonna put it on the edge of it. And a little bit on the outside, just like on the edge of the cut. And then if you want to be quick, you can just do it like this. Black. Wait, that was not green. That was purple. This is the green. Where's my brown? I think, I don't know, I'm going to go on the outside and a little bit on the inside. And to get on the deep part of your cut, you're going to take black and you're going to lightly shade it in the dark 
it's shaded in darkly. Darkly? Dark. Words. Word vomit. No. Not scratch it this time. You're gonna take your pink or your red. You're gonna put it on the inside. And right now I'm taking some green and then dabbing it in random places. Is that really we're gonna take the purple and black separately and we're gonna fan it out to make the area look more bruised. Where's my purple? Here it is. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, oh god. So you can just dab it anywhere. And now I think since we're done with the shading part and blending and stuff, I'm going to put everything up. But before I do the fake blood, what I'm going to do now is... God! What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some red paint. This is just a red cream makeup that I got from Walmart. And I'm going to take a little bit on my finger. About that much. And, and I'm going to dab it on the edge of the... You can get on the inside too if you want to. You can be really messy with this. Just don't cover the whole thing. Because that would be a problem. And you can make it drip down, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick it and I'm going to hang it. And I'm going to do with it. And I'm going to do that. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to take. I'm going to want to take my thick blood. And I'm just gonna take the, this is probably not a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna take the sponge I used to, my latex sponge, because I don't wanna wear sponges. And I'm gonna take my blood, my blood. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm trying. Okay, so if you do it right, which I probably didn't, this should look something like your finished product. Um, I'm not a professional, so I'm not. So thank you for watching my video, and watch Amy's video next week, and I will see you guys later. Bye!